What is up guys, it's your boy TSL here, back with a brand new SPTS video. In today's video, we will be making it so that you earn coins over time from playing the game, instead of just playing or just clicking this button. We will also be trying to make a safe zone, so yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is actually make the safe zone. Alright guys, so you'd think we'd just be able to place like a force field around um, the player or something to make this safe zone, but no, a lot more will go into it than just that. So basically, what we'll have to do is go into our service group service leader stats, and we will want to go to like where, actually we can go before our power, so we can copy our has our variable and just put it before our powers though, and we'll change it to um, safe and safe and safe. This will be a bull vowel inside of the player, and it will be called um, safe. So by default, this will be true because you spawn in the safe zone. And um, then I moved this over here. So basically what we're going to want to do is go into starter character scripts and have a script and put our local character. And actually, we can just go into our training zone and we can copy all this stuff. And we can just put that here. We can change the radius to something like 300. Um, yeah, we'll do 300. And then basically what we're going to want to do next is get the local center is equal to um, game dot workspace dot spawn point. And that's going to be the center of the safe zone. That's why I moved it over here because it'll be like somewhere around this area. Can't tell you the exact stud size. Um, so, I mean, yeah. So we can actually do like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How about seven of these squares? So we'll just change the radius to 16 times seven. So now that'll be these seven squares long and wide. All right, so now that that's done, um, we got our center point two. We just want to put a wall weight 0.0001 do we just want to change our we'll actually first check if our we'll actually first make a local distance variable and make it equal to this thing that we made before in the last video but just change this to center and then we want to check if our distance is less than or equal to our radius then what we want to do is just um set our player dot uh safe dot value equal to true and if it's not then player dot safe dot value is equal to false so um, this can also come in handy having the safe variable for, let's say you have a VIP server and we'll add like a command like PVP on or PVP off, so that you can take so that people can take damage and not take damage. So yeah, so basically now what we want to do is just try to find every script that takes damage, which to you, which I think is only if we go into our starter pack in our punch and actually no our punch does not do any damage i don't think right not not as of right now no as of right now it does not do any damage but we will change that in later videos if not today probably not in today's video um so what we'll just do is go into our service script service and into our what was it create power script right and then this, um, where, where do we take damage? So we also want to check if has been hit false and um, player, right? We have a player, yeah. If player dot safe dot value is 
not equal to true then. All right, so that should be all we actually have to do. And I don't know why I put that. Um, we could just put if it's equal to false. Uh, because Lua doesn't support that not. We could also just do this is not equal to true like that. I guess we'll just do that. All right, so um, that should be the safe zones and uh, yeah. So now what we just want to do real quick is go into our leader stat script and make it so that we get coins like every five minutes. So what we'll do is we'll have a little while wait 300 do and every 300 seconds I think okay five minutes we'll do um local or not local we'll just do player dot coins dot value plus equals five and player dot total or honestly we'll just do total coins dot value is equal to, or plus equals five and then coins because we're still in the leader stat script Alright, so every five minutes we should get five coins, so um, let's save that, but I don't want to wait five minutes, so I'll just say every five seconds I'll get coins just to test this out. Alright, so if I go in here, or if I t test it, and we load in here, I should get um, coins every five seconds. You see I already got some. One, two, three four five one two three four five and you see like about every five seconds i get coins five coins all right so also um if i am going to my player in safe right now it's true if i walk away like really far from that um well wow, that's actually a really big zone from this safe zone it's off and if I go back towards it it's now back on and I shouldn't be able to take any damage all right guys so that is it for today's video and if you guys enjoyed and this helped you out please remember to leave a like and subscribe um next video we will try to be making a saving um the reason we didn't do that this video is because I'm working on a new saving script that will make it more dynamic and we'll never have to touch the script again after that video and it's just giving me a few problems here and there. And then um, please remember to hit that like button, comment below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, check out my um, the official channel website. And um, yeah, so see you in the next video, guys. Be subscribed. Turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video. And 